take a property tour, shall we? Brian Lubo here, and today I am so excited. We are in one of the most exclusive neighborhoods in all of Las Vegas, in the Ridges, in Red Hawk. And I have a special guest. Today, I have not only the owner, but the agent, Lisa Lopez, with us. So I say hello. Hi, Brian, how are you? Wonderful. So today she's gonna to tell us a little bit about what she did because she remodeled this entire property. And let me tell you, I know we keep saying, this is the best one, this is the best one. This is 100% my style, and the quality of attention to detail on this property is unparalleled. So without further ado, let's walk through this house. We're gonna start off in the kitchen like we always do. So let's follow this way. All right. Now, as we walk through the property, you're going to see a lot of indoor-outdoor living. Right over here to the right is one of the outdoor living spaces under a covered patio. Now, we're gonna get to the outside later like we normally do because we gotta start in the kitchen like we typically start off with. As you can already see, this house is spectacular, so just wait until we cover more of the details. All right, finally we've made it into the kitchen. So one of the things we're gonna discuss is, aside from the overall decor that's fantastic in this property, I love how you have the informal seating here so you can be part of the kitchen, which also leads us into this breakfast nook area. And Lisa, I have to tell you, one of the things that makes this house so amazing is the design. And you're gonna see throughout this entire property, there is luxury wallpaper that we've never seen on this level. We've seen it, but not to this level of quality. This tweed is sensational and it wraps around three walls. Lisa, I love what you did. I love the chandelier. And of course, this is your more, it's not the formal dining room, but this is a more formal dining nook. And this also leads us, you can see through the windows here, this leads us to the outdoor kitchen area. Again, this is spectacular. But like I said, we're gonna talk about the kitchen first. So Lisa, you've got to tell us about this spectacular kitchen island. So why don't we come over here and you tell us what you did because again, guys, a lot of the properties we see is like skyumorphic, so it looks like marble, but in reality, it's a porcelain or a quartz. This is stunning in person. So tell us what you did here, because this is amazing. So this is actually my favorite part of the entire remodel. Um, because of the level of this home, I didn't want a seam in the, in the counter. So we went with a Calcutta marble. It's a full slab, and we went through great lengths to source this because I insisted that it didn't have uh, a seam in the middle. And you'll see when we go into the, the primary bathroom as well, um, I wanted the, the veining in it to match. So we had to go through a lot to get this. Yeah, and guys, the fabrication, again, you know, yeah, it's one thing when you're looking at a million dollar home, but when you're up at $5 million plus, certain expectations need to be met. So again, no corners were cut. You have three inch fabrication on the return. And again, this is an oversized sensational slab. Now, one thing that you showed us, this is sneaky and I love it. What? You do the honors. I love this feature, guys. So on both sides of the island, we have two trash cans. So it's convenient. Yeah. One of the virtues of custom cabinetry. Now, if you guys have been watching many of my videos, you know what's my biggest peeve? Well, I got a few, but my biggest peeve is when you have a home at this level with one dishwasher. Lisa, thank you for attention to detail. Here, we have dual dishwashers. So we have dual Bosch dishwashers, top of the line. Thank you for getting that right. Now again, we have our modern sink, we have quartz countertops, three inch return, everything that this should be. Now when we come to the cabinetry, we have shaker style modern cabinetry throughout the entire kitchen. We have a lovely designer backsplash. This is a, like a matte glass tile backsplash, correct? So lovely, lovely. And of course now what's so in vogue is your brass accents for the, the pools. So again, here we have our 48 inch range, not dual fuel, I got corrected, I was wrong. She corrected me. So we have a gas range with a matching 48 inch uh, vent. Love what you did here. Um, now one thing that's kind of neat is 
Typically, you would only have this range oven because that's really all you need. I love that you guys put in an additional oven. So if you are into baking and cooking, you do have another option with your built-in microwave. Um, coming over in this direction, we do have our built-in refrigeration. So you have your GE built-in refrigeration, massive refrigeration unit, and there's a couple more to it. So let's come down this hallway a little bit. Now, down here, to your right, all these lights are on sensors, so they illuminate upon entry. Now over here, we have the pantry, and what's really neat, what I love, is there's another refrigerator that's been hidden behind this door, so that's fantastic if you wanna hide, you know, that's your other beer fridge or other things that are unsightly that you don't wanna keep in the main refrigerator. And then over here to the left is one of the laundry rooms because, we have multiple laundry rooms. I'll at least tell you later. But for a laundry room, this is one of the nicest laundry rooms you'll ever see. Even the countertops. What kind of countertops are these? These are granite. So these are sensational, very high-end luxury granite countertops. And even in here, they went full fabrication three inch, not prefab, not what you normally see. Now behind us, this is the entrance to the garage. We're not gonna go in the garage, we'll show you some footage of it, but this garage is sensational. Now you would expect to have a three car garage and a property of this magnitude, but what's neat here is not only do you have a three bay garage, but you also have a fourth bay that can accommodate an RV. It's exceptionally deep. And why don't you tell us a little bit about the garage? Cause it is a little bit unique for this kind of a property. So uh, we, it's fully finished. We have epoxy floors, but I think the highlight of it is all of the built-in storage. There's storage in the three-car bay that's overhead, but in the larger garage, there's two very large shelf cabinets um, that you can hide golf bags and kids' toys and such in there. And it's also, um, it's been wired for a car lift. Um, the previous owners had a toy hauler and we had a boat with a wakeboard tower stored wow. up. So very spacious garage. Yeah, so if you like your toys, this is one of the few properties to be able to live in a guard gate in neighborhood behind another gate. Typically you're not gonna have RV parking, it's completely not allowed. But here you have accommodations for all that. And one other neat feature, I forgot about it. Yeah, so why don't you tell us one of the other things? Because again, there's three here. It's the third laundry room. So, so yeah. it's really neat because for us, when we had a boat, we would put our boat towels in there and just wash them in there. They had a toy hauler, so they had a lot of sand car stuff. So you could just put all your dirty stuff, your car towels, whatever, and wash them in there. It's a stackable top bottom washer dryer. It's really nice, very convenient. How many garages have an extra laundry room? I love it because I'm a car detail freak, so I can just keep everything there. I love it. Okay, we've seen the kitchen. Let's venture into more of the living space and check out this family room because this is so cozy, so lovely. Um, Lisa, I love what you did. And this is a good time to talk first about the flooring throughout this entire home. Now, the flooring in this entire downstairs is all 24 inch by 24 inch porcelain tile. Um, it's honed, it looks wonderful, exceptionally elegant. And what's really neat is this flooring continues because you have this indoor outdoor living space relationship. We have that seamless transition outside. Rarely do you see like a polished or honed flooring that goes outside. Now, one of the coolest things, if you have an entire downstairs that's full of tile and then you have these 14 foot ceilings, typically the first thing you notice is just an echo that just ricochets through the entire property. When I came in here, it was oddly quiet. So Lisa, why don't you explain to us what you did? Cause I don't know that I would have picked up on that. So being that I have four children and it was really loud when they would be out here playing and carrying on with their friends, we added um, acoustic panels to all of the ceilings down in this back end of the house to alleviate some of that echo. So there's uh, acoustic panels in this ceiling as well as in the bar and in the breakfast nook. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's seamless. You can't even tell that there's material in the trays and the ceiling, but the difference it makes as far as the reverb is, is second to none. Now, 
Obviously the centerpiece of this family room is this fireplace and media wall. And I absolutely love how clean it is. But Lisa, why don't you explain to us a little bit about what you did here with the brick, what you did with the hearth and the fireplace. So when we first started the remodel, this was actually a flat wall and it had um, just stacked stone on it. So we removed all that actually brought down the niche for the, the TV a little bit lower so it was a little easier on your eyes. And then we built the hearth and the mantle and we used reclaimed wood just to bring some of that organic rustic feel to what can tend to end up being a colder contemporary look. So we brought in some reclaimed wood and some antique red brick and I just had them put really wide um, cement grout lines and then just painted white over it which you'll see we carried through on the wine cellar as well. Yeah, and we'll do our best to kind of show this off in the B-roll footage, but in person, I mean, it's, it's the attention to details. From this distance and perspective, you really can't appreciate the craftsmanship that goes into it. Um, another thing that I found neat is, again, we're talking about a property at a much higher level. We've seen a million homes with modern fireplaces. In this entire property, one thing that stands out is while all these are modern fireplaces, this is one of the few where every fireplace is actually gas. Uh, it may look similar on camera, but obviously the cost swells five times as much and there was no expense spared on this property. So kudos to you on that. Love the fireplace, love the reclaimed wood. Let's keep it moving this direction. Now, over here you can see this relationship to the indoor-outdoor living. Um, we do have this wonderful slider that's been retracted. The weather's perfect today, guys, so that's why we're seeing this. Sorry, the pool guy's hanging out. What's up? Say what up to the pool guy. All right, now let's come over to this area. So over here we have a wet bar. And again, this is sensational what they did. So we have the Calcutta marble, but this is actually in a matte finish. So I love the difference here, especially when it comes to the outdoor area. So one thing you'll notice is we have pocket slides for these windows. So this is perfect for entertaining. So you have seating here. So literally, you want a shot of tequila? Park your butt right there and we will serve you right there. How wonderful is this for entertaining? So back to it, we have refrigeration here. We've got the shaker style cabinetry in an offset darker gray. Um, obviously it's a wet bar, so we have our sink and another refrigeration unit. Now one thing that I loved, just like we had the reclaimed wood for the hearth and the fireplace, very unique, you don't normally see this. Um, I love that the counter surface is wood with a return of the waterfall. Um, Lisa, I love what you did to just kind of warm up this space. It's those attentions to details that really brings this property to a higher caliber. Now we're gonna come over to this because <laughs> we've seen wine walls, wine cellars, but this again is not going to translate. Let me just tell you, this is complete like wrought iron, cast iron. This door weighs substantially more than I do. The quality craftsmanship is amazing, but I'm gonna let Lisa talk about this because this took what, like two years to design? So talk about it. Three years actually to get it completed. There were a lot of errors because I required a very decent finished product. And so these, these doors are actually custom iron doors made from a local fabricator. Um, it is lined with sheets of metal, bronze metal. And again, we brought in the antique red brick and painted it white. Um, those are all suspension cables, which is what took so long because they kept, um, the engineering wasn't correct to hold the weight of the bottles. This, this wine cellar holds about 600 bottles. So as you could imagine, those cables had to be structurally engineered above to be able to hold all all of the weight Again. and then it's also a fully climate controlled refrigeration unit with the unit being outside so there's no sound it's completely quiet inside and again that's something that you can't appreciate until you've seen other wine walls and wine cellars where you have the noise refrigeration units and it ties into the noise canceling in the uh, ceiling now another thing this actually wraps all the way around so you do have a return on this wine wall to complete the 600 bottle uh, capacity now here we are in the four Formal dining area and one thing I will say is this is basically a catalog for restoration hardware uh, 
<laughs> the decor in here, kudos to you, you got great taste. So there's our formal dining room, but once again, that recurring theme we discussed earlier of wallpaper, this luxury wallpaper is sensational. This is a herringbone design. I mean, this looks like fine clothing, let alone wallpaper. Again, you have to be close to really appreciate the look, but it just makes the home feel so much more rich. Okay, now that we've finished this area, let's start seeing some of the bedrooms and the dens that are downstairs. Now, over here to your left is the entry that we came in, but we're gonna check out this den real quick. So as we come into the den, you'll notice the flooring is actually a hand scraped wood, very rich, very nice, warms up this den. Now, we're gonna discuss this when we get to the primary suite, but again, the recurring theme, we have luxury wallpaper, and this is a larger herringbone design, and this is on all four walls, especially this wall with all the windows, uh, just the craftsmanship, is, I mean, this is, this is a model home on an unparalleled level. And of course, this huge picture wall window leads out to the front of the property. So perfect for a den, makes a lot of sense. Now that we've seen this, let's migrate over to the primary because in this property, the primary bedroom is downstairs. So I love that because you can literally live downstairs without having to go upstairs. Wonderful. Love that this hallway that you come in from has all these windows, which leads out into the outdoor living space. Wonderful touch. Okay, we have the French doors that leads us in the primary suite. Now of note, and you should expect, these doors are solid core doors. Very, very heavy, and it feels like quality. Again, we've been in homes that cost millions of dollars, and these are the details where the corners are cut. All right, now Lisa, you're gonna have to talk to us about this primary suite because this just feels so cozy and welcoming. So tell us a little bit about what you did in here. So as far as doing thing, the remodel in here, we wanted to soften it up a bit. Um, we also wanted to keep the flow of other elements in the house. So the herringbone you mentioned in the office, we brought in here, just made it a little darker. And then we wanted to soften the space so you can see all of the shears that we added. Um, but sleeping is important too. So there's blackout drapes and they're all on um, a remote control. Great. And one thing that's cool about the herringbone, uh, when you come into the property, if you look to your left, you see the herringbone wallpaper in the office. And then if you look to the right, you see the opposing wall of the darker herringbone. Just kind of a neat architectural design. Um, now coming over here, I just love what you guys did with this accent wall. So you have the herringbone wallpaper, but it's flanked in the middle by this wonderful white quartz um, and of course we have a real gas fireplace i mean you can feel the heat emitted off this a little bit better than those electric fireplaces all right well that pretty much takes care of the bedroom portion why don't we check out the primary bathroom and lisa will tell us a little bit more um, coming into this bathroom we have the same color porcelain floor but instead of having 24 by 24 inch now we have 12 by 24 inch so why don't you tell us a little bit about, because my favorite thing, you guys leave your comments, let me know. My favorite thing is, again, wallpaper. But this wallpaper, pay attention as we pan around. This wallpaper, when you walk in, it looks like concrete. But in fact, it's wallpaper, and I just love what it's done. I've never seen this done in a property. So tell us about this bathroom. So um, in here, I didn't want to rip out things that I didn't that I could save, material that I could save. So we went ahead and we kept the surround of the air jetted tub and the backsplash as well. But we did change out the top to be the Calcutta marble again to bring that through the whole house. And in the shower, we did full slabs of marble in the shower. Um, so all, the whole wall is a full slab up into the top where they had to, that was the biggest slab we could get for this. Again, the veining had to match the veining in the front. This is a two, two shower heads, body sprayers, a steam shower, and a rain head as well. And so again, I mean, we've been in so many properties that don't have steam functions. This is literally like a spa. I'm sure you'll see it in the B-roll. Love, love, love it. Okay, we are almost done with the downstairs, but of course, we gotta go to Lisa's office. Oh, wait, wait, guys, fellas, this is for you, fellas. Sorry, ladies, you are you get the closet. Fellas, you're gonna love this. <laughs> One of my weird dreams, weird, is what you're not seeing here. Not only do we have like a $6,000 Toto self-opening toilet, 
Hi, nice to see you, thank you. But fellas, we have a urinal for those late night needs, let's just leave it there. How many properties do you see that has a urinal? And this isn't the only urinal on this entire property. Lisa, why don't you come in here and show us the closet? All right, we're gonna come to Lisa's office and she's gonna explain to us what's going on here in the closet. So here we just have a bunch of built-ins with three stories. So as you can see, I put some of the things that I don't necessarily wear so much up at the top. Um, completely built in, island of drawers, plenty of space for plenty of clothes, shoes, bags, you name it. <laughs> and with these 14 foot high ceilings, it allows so much additional storage for your winter clothes that you rarely use. All right guys, we have finished with the entire first floor. So without further ado, we're gonna head upstairs and show you what's going on on the second floor of this property. Lisa, let's run it. All right, now we are upstairs. So let's see what we have lurking up here. Now, this is the center of the upstairs area, and this is wonderful if you have children or you wanna make this a dedicated movie theater. So behind us, we have the screen. So we've got a lovely 75 inch flat screen, the recurring theme of the property. We have the luxury wallpaper here on this wall, and I love this counter surface. So this lovely natural stone works perfectly as an accent. It'd probably be a little bit too much in, in a kitchen setting, but this is wonderful. I love what you did, Lisa. And then of course, we have the custom cabinetry. Now, as we pan over this direction, you can see that we have the exact same cabinetry and we have the exact same counter surface, which works so well in this neutral space. Now, this is kind of neat. You know, we could have used this during quarantine. So over here, we have a lovely wood floor, and then of course we have a rubber surface, so this serves as an actual gym, which is weird, because I see you at the gym every morning. Must be for social purposes. <laughs> uh, but I mean, how great is this? You have a full-fledged gym here. This wall retracts uh, with sliders, so you can get a little bit of air, natural light. And then of course, we have our 3D tile, we have another display, and of course, like we discussed already, we have a gas fireplace. So love what you did with this place. And of course, we have sliders in here as well joining. All right, now I think we're gonna head, oh, should we cover that now? Should we cover that? Ah, we'll go this way. All right, after you, Lisa. So now this area is really, really neat. Um, Lisa, you know what, why don't you tell us what you did and what your vision was with this room? So this room was built originally as a den or a second office. Um, my children used it as a music room for many years and then once they were too old, I um, added the cabinets to hide all the drums and made it a wellness room. And I'm obsessed. For me, these are my perfect cabinets. In person, these look stunning. And for a wellness room, insane custom cabinetry. Now, over in this direction, uh, this is a massive, massive balcony. So this balcony, you can actually access from the other uh, workout room and this wellness room. And then this wraps all the way around the back of the property overlooking the pool area. So again, I mean, a wonderful outdoor space. So now that we've seen the wellness room, let's see what our other secondary bedrooms are hiding. Okay, uh, now over here to your left, we have the upstairs laundry room. And again, for a laundry room, <laughs> when do you see custom cabinetry and counter surfaces like this is always, no matter how expensive a custom home, the laundry room, there's always some cost cutting over here, but not in this property. Love what you did. And now let's check out these secondary bedrooms. So one thing, Every bedroom in this property is an in-suite. So you're gonna have a walk-in closet, you're gonna have your own dedicated bathroom. Now, tell me again about this wallpaper. This is grass cloth. Yeah, so again, wallpaper, 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 but this is very, very luxurious, and this is only on the accent wall. Looks fantastic. Now, over here, again, all of the bathrooms and closets are motion detected, but in here, we have a lovely in-suite bathroom. Wonderful job with a shower surround all the way to the ceiling, wonderful shower tray, and great use of the quartz. Uh, every bathroom is similar as far as size and design, but very different design textures and elements. Let's check out the other secondary suite. Now, as we come in here, this 
has two walls, two accent walls with wallpaper. And again, very neutral, very lovely. On the flooring, to warm up these bedrooms, we have hand scraped wood floors like we saw in the den. Over here to your left, we have uh, a walk-in closet. And over here, we also have another in-suite in bathroom. And again, there's just minor differences between the bathrooms, but in this one specifically, I absolutely love the tile that Lisa chose for the accent wall. I thought that looked really, really regal. All right, now let's keep it moving and let's see what else we have upstairs. All right. <laughs> Again, this is for the fellas. Ladies, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sure this means absolutely nothing to you and probably ridiculous. Ladies, I wanna hear your opinion in the comments. Is this something that you would tolerate? Is it unsightly or do you think it's cool? And guys, I'm sure you love it like I do, but come on. In the middle of a movie, you run and you have a urinal and you even have this lovely mosaic back wall. Come on, as a guy, this is the dream. Lovely, lovely bathroom. But auto flushing, you don't even have to flush the urinal. How perfectly lazy you can be as a man. Again, I love it, this is one of my dreams. Maybe I'm the crazy one. All right, let's come down here and let's see the final two secondary suites. Now, over here, we have a really bright and lovely secondary suite. Again, we have our accent wall with the wallpaper, but now this lucky kid, they get their own private like Juliet balcony. So you have a slider and this overlooks the front of the property. Coming down this direction and say hi to Ashley in there. <laughs> All right, coming down this way, we have another walk-in closet. And like we just discussed, we have another built-in bathroom. We have a lovely accent wall that goes into the shower. And then I love the tile in this shower surround. In person, if you're up close, this actually looks like linen. I've used that tile before, and in person, it's just so rich and lovely. Probably is not showing up well on camera. All right, two areas left to see before we go outside. Now, I made a joke off camera. Is this the nicest rack you've ever seen? Hey, check it out. So here's the brains of the entire property. So we have all the way from Marantz audio equipment all the way onto the control system. So this is the center brains of the entire property because you have surround sound in different rooms and a lot of technological features. Now, the final secondary suite. We have two walls with the designer wallpaper. I especially love this one. This is like the tweed wallpaper I, I believe we saw downstairs. We have over here, we have another walk-in closet. And then here we have our last bathroom inside here. All right, we have seen the entire second floor, Lisa. This backyard is incredible. So without further ado, Lisa, you gotta show us this backyard. I so wanna have a drink and just lay in this backyard and soak it all in. So let's head outside and see what's going on out there. All right, now we are in the back of the property outside and there's an abundance of outdoor living spaces that we have to show you. So first, this is a more intimate area that comes right off of the dining room. So we have an outdoor conversation area. I love this fire pit. We've got a beautiful mosaic tile and of course, real natural gas for the fire pit. We have surround sound speakers, a ceiling fan. And again, this area is more intimate and enclosed. So a lot less wind. Uh, it's just a wonderful, wonderful place place to be in kind of a nook and hide out. Now, like we discussed earlier, one of the things that's really neat is this flooring. So this is the exact same 24 inch by 24 inch porcelain flooring that we saw inside the property, which extends to all this outdoor living space. Now, this is really neat. When I first saw it, I thought it was treated bamboo, but it's an actually like a volcanic stone. Very expensive and very, very neat. Again, you kind of have to see it in person to appreciate. Now over here, in this direction, we have a huge synthetic turf area. We're in water restrictions at this point, so this is not only responsible, but it's also cost effective. Great for your fur babies, great for your children. And then let's come to this area. So this is another spectacular outdoor area. So obviously behind us, you can see that this is the family room. So you have this seamless transition between the family room and this outdoor space. Again, the same tile, although here we have it covered with a lovely, lovely accent rug. Now, we're gonna save the pool for last and we're gonna show you what's arguably one of my favorite things, other than a urinal, 
and wallpaper. And wallpaper. One of my dreams, I love movie theaters and I love a basketball court. And this, this house has both. So check this out. How neat is this area? Not only is this a basketball court, but this is about 40 feet. So this is almost an NBA regulation court. NBA courts are about 98 feet. So split that in half, that's 49 feet. This depth, Damian Lillard could be shooting from mid court almost and practicing. This is fantastic. It's a sport court, very nice. We have tons of illumination. This is a wonderful place to be. Don't know if my neighbors would love me shooting hoops at 11 o'clock at night though. Okay, now this area over here is fantastic. We have the outdoor kitchen, and this is a little bit more than a kitchen, guys. So we have beautiful pendant lights, which I imagine are sensational at night, Lisa. Um, and then again, we have that volcanic lava rock accent wall, which really works in this space. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about this outdoor kitchen? So this is a really good entertaining space. We have a refrigerator here, trash unit, cooler space, and then this huge grill with storage drawers. Um, TV with a Sonos sound bar, um, which accommodates really well for even when you're in the pool, you can hear it, the, the music is really good. And one thing that I noticed, tell us about these counter surfaces because these look wonderful, very modern. So they're actually a leathered granite. Hopefully this B-roll shows up, but this is something very unique. You don't normally see this in an outdoor or indoor setting. I absolutely love it. Linen-ish, right? Yeah, yeah, it does look like it has a little linen relief to it. Very nice. Okay, now let's finish up with this pool because this is an incredible pool. Now over here, we have stairs that lead to what? Why would you have stairs? Just wait, there's more. I'll show you. But here's the stairs that leads to a nice neat surprise. And then over here, I love what you did here. So we've seen Baja decks. I mean, this is pretty much stock and standard for any contemporary pool, but I love that you used a mosaic tile that's a little iridescent. So we have the bubblers for self-cleaning. We have the umbrella hole, but a massive Baja shelf so you can put your chase lounges and enjoy. Uh, we've got fire features, which would be a spectacular, but obviously you're not gonna see much during broad daylight. Now let's come over in this direction, show you a little more. One thing that I love, hope this shows up. I love the way you guys did this transition. You have the porcelain tile and then you have concrete. If they butted joints, it just wouldn't look right. I love the implementation of the river rocks to denote the difference in the transition. Now, over here, we have this gorgeous jacuzzi tub. It's oversized, very large. It's an infinity edge on both sides, so we'll call that a dual infinity pool. Now, what was I telling you before? The stairs lead to this slide. Lisa, this has gotta be fun in summertime. So you have a concrete treated slide that deploys into the pool. And now here's a big thing, guys. In Las Vegas, there's two things. One, typically pools are only about six, six and a half feet deep. This pool, you guys were able to do 10 feet. That typically, you hit caliche, which is compressed soil. So typically it becomes very expensive. They have to blast. This has already been done. Another feature on top of the 10 feet, the size of this pool, you couldn't be able to build due to the water restrictions. The capacity of this pool is too large for current regulations. So if you love this pool, you gotta buy this house because you can't recreate it. Now the rest of the pool is a pebble tech, but what's neat is this is a diamond white pebble tech. So most pebble tech kind of looks like sand or a lagoon. I love what this is. And then of course we have our water feature. So we have a water feature here flanked with two more water features. Guys, sadly this ends our show, but I'm dying to hear, and I'm sure you're interested, maybe not, <laughs> but I'm dying to hear your comments, guys. There are so many features to this property. I'm dying to hear what you think are your favorite or favorites. What would you change? What would you add? What are you gonna steal for your property? Lisa, thank you so much for spending time with me. I really appreciate it. Tell my audience goodbye. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you guys. Deuces. <laughs>